the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Richo Ruto, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Comoros, Azali Azumani, Your Excellency, the former President of Nijal, Yusuf Mahamadu, the Governor, our host Governor of Embu, the Honorable says Barire, a.k.a. Karinda, who is also the chairperson of the ruling party, the United Democratic Alliance, the Chief Justice and President of the, Repu of the Supreme Court, the Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate, Cabinet Secretary is present, Heads of Mission, Dear Kenyans, 60 years ago, Kenya attained internal state of rule after an armed struggle led by our gallant men and women. Our great nation has been on a prosperity trajectory despite challenges. Our future is promising, and for this, Your Excellency, we own our freedom heroes and heroines. On this day, we honor Kenyans whose hard work continues to drive our nation towards a life of dignity. Our resolve to attain this dignity is unwavered. We celebrate this day, Your Excellency, under the theme Empowering Sustainable National Development through cooperatives and micro and small businesses. It also happens when public reforms, especially in the coffee, tea, and data subsectors, are on top gear. The structural reforms aim at restoring the dignity of our farmers in line with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. It is in this regard, Your Excellency, that we have convened a special summit of all coffee stakeholders in the neighboring county of Meru next week to come up with practical interventions to put money into the pockets of our farmers. There shortly, there will be another conference for tea, followed by macadamia, avocado, mira, and mooka. Your Excellency, for sustainable reforms in these subsectors, cooperatives are central components in uplifting our small-scale farmers to economic independence and prosperity. To this effect, the cooperative movement must roar back to life by instituting necessary reforms. Your Excellency, if you, allow, if you allow me, before I invite you to address the nation, let me make an observation on the significance of hosting Madaraka Day celebrations this year in Ebu County. Your Excellency, the venue of this celebration is on the edge of Mount Kenya Forest, where gallant men and women took arms, crude as they were, to drive the British colonialists from this land, reclaim their freedom, and get back their land. Your Excellency, our gallant men and women, despite being limited, were facing a very difficult situation. The colonialists had guns, they had planes, they had grenades, they had bombs. But the poor freedom fighters had only a panga, but a sheer and great resolve to get back their independence. Your Excellency, your presence here is a reminder of that struggle. Destiny has placed you in a unique position to lead the final and the third liberation of this great country, the economic liberation of our, our people. Your Excellency, we want to encourage you. The measures that you have come up with to get back the economy of this country on track through prudent and pragmatic interventions is what will bring about the third liberation. Your Excellency, we want to encourage you that millions of Kenyans desirous of economic prosperity are fully behind you. We want to encourage you that many Kenyans, though quiet, have confidence 
that the measures you have come up with will improve the welfare of the Kenyan people. We want to urge all Kenyans to allow our president an opportunity to steer this country back to economic prosperity. Your Excellency, we want to urge our leaders to continue being steadfast as they support all the legislative measures that your government has proposed in the National Assembly to allow this country to get away from public debt and fund our own development and recurrent expenditure. For that, Your Excellency, we want to assure you that the majority of Kenyans are behind you. Never mind our detractors. These detractors gave you no chance to succeed as they see you making practical and pragmatic interventions they are all over shouting and bringing a lot of propaganda which is being enabled by the press and we don't mind because the press as you all know were part and parcel of the Azimio Brigade and therefore your excellency we want to urge you to continue with the confidence that the people of Kenya will give you the necessary support it is now my humble pleasure and duty to welcome His Excellency President William Ruto, President of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, to address the nation.